Hello, my name's Andy, and welcome to the next Building Endeavour video. Hello, and thanks for watching this week's video. And if you're new to this channel, I have oh, over 60 videos now done on the build of this uh, Eagle Moss kit of the Endeavour. And it'd be really great for you to follow along with me, and you can do that by subscribing, Perhaps leave a comment as well I'd like to read those or just even leave a like if you do like what you've seen however back to this week's video and we're gonna start work on the main mass itself uh, to start with I have this uh, piece of 12 mil diameter uh, dowling it has to be shaped at one end to have a square top rather light if you can see in the previous format and by the way this is all covered on pre uh, previous videos there has to be a square section here at the top, just above the, uh, well, the crow's nest area here. So to do that, I'm going to mark it out, get a nice square section going on, and we'll do all that in the time lapse. So let's get to it. I'm quite happy with that now after a lot of sanding I've managed to get a, the nice square section at the top it, I've left a bit of wiggle room that can still be sanded down a little bit I think it will need to come back in a bit as well uh, and a nice taper out from about 8mm down to 12 so next I have to make a, another smaller square section at the top here for this top cap to fit on so I'm going to do that next cap fitted but not glued yet okay on with the next stage next we're going to cut and shape the main top mast using the plan this is 8 mil dowel with a nice kind of have a nice taper to it and then we're going to do the main mast top or the crow's nest you may notice so let's construct that now I'll do that off camera and show you the result because it's just the same procedure as on my last video when I did the formats anyway. So I'll just do that now. Here are those parts now put together. This is the main mast top, uh, partially constructed, needs sanding and the strengthening struts that have to go on top. Of course it is painted black. The bibs for the main mast and the top cross tree as well have been done. Now I want to start shaping the top mast of the main mast. got a nice taper now to the uh, top main mast um, the next step is just to make it fit before I do any painting so rather than take this down any further I'm just going to widen this hole now and get it so it will go further in okay so let's do that next okay, so before I do any more I just want to do a quick check that things are all fitting together before I get around to painting it. As I say, this still isn't finished anyway. Oops. 
far so good. Okay, quite happy with that. Oh well, let's keep going. for a test fit. Okay so none of the mast in the moment is glued in any way it's just fitted and slotted together and uh, once I'm happy with the way this is going together which I am uh, it's time to paint it then and stain it in the lovely orangey mustard colour the mast just like the four mast was done earlier. Right, back to working on the main mast top. I have to sand this and prepare it for the uh, beams that are going to be placed around the edge here. Uh, and then it's going to be painted black, just like I did before on the four mast. Okay, leave those to dry. Now back to the main mast top. Busy. Let's get clever. Give me strength and build endeavour. Wow, works every time. I really need this one. Okay, so the main mast is well underway now. Um, that's it for this week's video. I put the masts in place. They're not glued. Next week I will continue on the main mast, and if we get a chance as well, we'll start on the yards as well. So please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and I'll see you next week's video. Bye for now.